at the end. Um, another hot topic here, why not just fix APA? Um, we touched on this earlier. There's been numerous attempts to fix APA in the past year. Uh, when we separated from uh, ALPA in 1963, I believe, there was a whole slew of different reasonings, uh, you know, very three sides to the story, right? Um, his, hers, and the truth. Uh, so it's really hard to kind of pin it down doesn't matter. But upon separation, the argument could be made that our institution and bylaws were, I don't know, I wasn't alive then, but relatively similar to ALPA. And in the intervening 60 years, they have consistently broken off and retreated in a lot of different ways from what the ALPA model is. And in some ways, it's not a bad thing. Uh, look, on the surface, the, the pilot group electing the president is not a bad thing. Um, but since it's manifested itself into what we talked about just a minute ago, where there's a cohesion issue. Um, so most APA fix efforts have led to more dysfunction, um, direct election of the APA president, uh, or the APA governance project in the 2010s. Um, so there was a uh, governance project done back then to try and fix without getting in the nitty gritty, because I really don't know all of it, but the, the crux of it is that the board of directors didn't implement it zero at the committee's recommendation. So kind of like when the NTSB tells, uh, you know, airlines that unsafe scheduling practices and fatigue was a mid contributing factor, airlines do absolutely nothing about it. Um, very similar to that. They had uh, all these recommendations of, of how to fix it and the board decided that they knew best and they were summarily rejected. Um, so you have the, the CABAC, the Comparative Airlines Benchmarking Ad Hoc Committee was in 2016, that looked at APA, Delta, United, um, and Southwest Airlines, um, trying to find that happy medium. And again, another opportunity, the APBRD did not implement any of the committee's recommendations to help streamline or improve our processes. Um, one of the uh, hot topics is company unionism, a la us, or let's say the uh, IPA at UPS, or you could even argue uh, Southwest, although they've been a little bit more, at least outwardly successful, uh, is the first step in union busting. What they mean by that is that having a company union lends itself to a closed shop. The relationships are easier to be incestuous. I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but uh, certainly the crosstalk between management and APA gets a little bit more than just professional, um, you know, horse trading favors, quid, quo, quid pro quos, whatever it happens to be. Uh, again, these are generalities. It's, I'm not saying that any of these are happening rampantly now, but uh, it is certainly easier for the company to control APA in our functions in a indirect manner, rather than having to deal with an entire another structure over in Herndon uh, or in DC with Alpa National with pilots that do not work for this airline and do not care about the internal politics. Their function is to make sure that we are operating within the realms of APA, um, excuse me, oh, I really wish we had different letters here, of Alpa so that ALPA itself a nation, isn't open to um, any kind of uh, bad press, litigation, whatever it happens.